right, what is up, guys? This is Tom Todd Seven Seven Four for welcoming you to another edition of Monster Truck Nation, Monster Truck Channel, the MTM Two division of this series. We are in round number five. We will cover rounds five and six for the next couple of days here. Here and we will. And, the, and tonight's venue will be at the Missouri State Fairgrounds in Sedalia. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom Todd 774 along with two famous guests. Guest by expert an tonight's tonight's guest by expert analyst, Train Man 3985, and today and and, and for tonight uh, and for tonight and maybe the and for this weekend here at Sedalia. A special, a very special guest analyst, a very good friend of mine, Legend of We ninety two. Welcome you, welcome you guys. Howdy there, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for having us on board. You're welcome. All right, we got sixteen trucks battling it out here at the Missouri State Fairgrounds Fairgrounds tonight. And, uh, and yes, that and yes, that is literally night. Night. This is going to be a night of that here at Sedalia. Okay. Go so let's. The moon, Sean. <laughs> this will be a. This will be. This will, competition's more intense than ever. So let's actually take a look at our bracket here. In our in our first round matchups, it'll be Jim Kramer in Bigfoot number nine going up against Bill Hazlitt in Super Truck Twenty. Hail to the king, baby! In our set. In our second pairing, it'll be bright. It'll be le It'll be last. It'll be our winner in our last event at Columbus, Ohio. Brian Bartzel and Little Tiger going up against Jeff Cook driving the War Wagon. That'll be interesting to see. Yeah. That so that it will be Legend of Wii ninety two, and our third pairing a will have a tiger. Yep, our third pairing will have have Scott Stephens in the Auto Value King Crunch up against Tom Mintz in Goldberg. Mm. A gold nugget and uh, of. In a monster truck that almost sounds like your favorite cereal that you used to eat. An interesting <laughs> pairing. <laughs> <laughs> and in yeah. and in pairing number four, we have Sky Hartley in the snake bite truck. Hartley's gonna be Hartley will be a threat in this competition here at Sedalia. His opponent will be Richard Patterson in Rampage. Ah, that sounds good. Very good. Our f pairing number five will have will have a guy who's actually not too far from Sedalia in the St. Louis area, Brian Walmack in Barefoot. He'll be taking on, taking on always a tough, tough contender. Gary, po Mr. Consistency himself, Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. Uh, that ought to be quite a matchup to see. Yeah, especially in the first round. Hey, Lincoln, of all things. Ever, hey, Lincoln, I got a question for you. What did the Grizzly say when he got called customer service? It's a joke. Huh? <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't, okay. I didn't, you guys, you guys didn't let me finish it. Yeah, I know. Saying, Sorry. <laughs> what did the 
What did the grizzly say when he called when he called customer service? What? Just bear with me. Oh gee. <laughs> <laughs> and our sixth pairing. Nice. It'll be Paul it'll be Bulldozer, driven by Paul Stender. Stender really is going to see how he how well he performs outdoors. His opponent will be a will be a will be always a tough lady. Lady Pleasant Cook driving USA One. Wow! Now that is a matchup I want to see. Yep. <laughs> And pairing the numbers in the USA one that would be cool. Yep, and our seventh pairing will have Paul Schaefer driving a brand new Monster Patrol. And he'll be going up against Dan Patrick in Sampson. That's a classic right there. A classic matchup right there. Yep, They've that, raced against each other before, haven't they? Yes, those two have actually raced each other before in the uh, on the uh, Monster Jam circuit in the late 90s. It's just fitting, because cops really do like doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I love donuts. <laughs> and in our last... Pairing, we will have Dennis Anderson in Grave Digger number seven. The seven, our second episode, our second event of the season to feature the Grave Digger truck, and he'll be taking on taking on always tough contender Mark Hall in the Executioner Machine. Another good matchup right there. Yeah, that is that it will be. I can dig it. Will yeah. be all right. Let's all right. Let's put the bracket in run mode and actually get things going here. First up, Jim Cramer in the Bigfoot Ford up against Bill Hazlitt in the Super Truck Twenty Chevrolet. Awesome. And let there be carnage. Car crushing carnage. Oh yeah, that <laughs> oh yeah, there'll be plenty of that. <laughs> and by the way, folks, just in case you're wondering, starting for the next few hours only, there'll be ninety nine percent off all food and drinks on us. <laughs> that it will be. <laughs> will be Jim Kramer yeah. out of Saint out of Hazelwood, Missouri, and Bigfoot number nine, the most one of the most technologically advanced trucks of uh, trucks this season. Bigfoot's yet to win an event this season on MTN, then, which has come as a as a surprise. His opponent, but he's got his opponent will be a rookie driver in this series. We have. We haven't seen this truck much much on the MTN circuit this year. Bill Hazlitt and Paul Schaefer's Super Truck 20. Bigfoot with a nitrous shocks suspension, whereas Super Truck 20 has a coilover suspension. So this should so Michael and Cody, this ought to be a dandy race. It ought to be sure. for sure. Definitely. Bigfoot up to the staging line here. Super truck twenty is in. We're racing. Off the start, Bigfoot with a good jump. 
All right. Coming around to the final set. Oh, ho, ho, that one. was close. That's what you call a close one. Very close. Oh, yeah. It was bumper to bumper. And they come out the times. Bigfoot 5.58. Super Truck 26.02. Bigfoot with the first round victory. Once again, the king has claimed his crown. The king of the mo the king of the monster Bigfoot foot once again in the winner circle, a place that he is very, very familiar with. So Bigfoot advances into our quarterfinal matchup. Let's actually take a look at the replay here and see how well Bigfoot did. Oh man, Jim Kramer straight as an arrow run. He's going to the next round. Whereas Bill Hazlitt in Super Truck 20. You can see right here, here's the replay. He was all over the place, all over the track, especially coming over the last jump. And I think he was pretty good at the starting line, Tom, but I think when he hit the first jump, it might have threw him a little bit off course. Yeah, he was definitely off kilter coming yeah. to the second set, Michael, as uh, Jim Kramer in Bigfoot will advance. Our second pairing will take a will take last events with the winner from last time out, Brian Bartel out of out of Coon Rapids, Minnesota, in the little Tiger Chevrolet Chevrolet pickup. Will take on a very tough competitor on the Thunder Nationals circuit, Jeff Cook in the War Wagon. And guys, guys, we don't see the war wagon all that much, do we? Nope. Oh, not really. So this is going to be a very so this is going to be a very so this is going to be a very interesting matchup for matchup especially for Jeff Cook, who is a who is not a rookie to monster trucks by any means, but is but doesn't run outdoors all that much, and so this is going to be a pretty so this is going to be a pretty tall order for him. To uh, knock off Brian Bartle in the Little Tiger Chevrolet. Sometimes the young blood wins. Sometimes the old. Young ones got more strength. Olds got more experience. Both drivers are very yeah. experienced. However, remember, remember what I said. War Wagon is more accustomed to running indoors. We're outdoors tonight. Longer track, much more speed. Let's see if he can be a player. Oops. And we'll see who will become the victor of this next round. Oh, yeah. That, that who knows who will win? Oh, yeah. Most definitely, Legend. Legend. Here we go. Little Tiger... Brian Bartel up against uh, Jeff Cook in the War Wagon. Will Little Tiger win the war? We'll find out. <laughs> oh yeah, that that we're gonna find out in just a moment right here as we adjust the as uh, um, as Little Tiger gets an adjustment from the pits, now he's up to the line, and we're uh, and we're ready to go racing right here. And they're oh, off. And now oh slow, Little Tiger with a little slow start. Can he make it up on the big end? Oh man! Can he do it? Oh, War Wagon oh, wow. couldn't quite Number. make it over the oh. second jump. Wow! 
Whoa, Lagan had a problem there. Yeah, that he cert he sure did. Little Tiger. No contest there. Wow, I want oh my goodness, I thought War Wagon was gonna give give Brian Bartle a run for his money. What happened? Yeah, what happened there? Let's actually find uh -huh. this out. Here's Little Tiger's replay. Little Tiger was straight as an arrow, even though he jumped way high up in the air. Here's Jeff Cook. Oh man, he did not hit the second set of cars. Oh my goodness, and he almost turned the truck over. Oh man. Yeah, he's very close to wrecking. Oh, I just got a report. <clears throat> I just got a report, brother. So, according to what the was down at the track said, War Machine was uh, <clears throat> War Machine was uh, War Machine was just about to reach the other side perfectly, but when he landed, he ran over a sharp rock which punctured his driver's side left front tire and caused him to lose control. That's what made him go over the ramp and hit the uh, second pile of cars. Wow, war wag, war wag, a punctured tire puts war wagon out of competition early. Wow, tough break. Yeah. So little tiger will take on Bigfoot in the quarterfinals. Now next uh no now this next pairing is gonna be quite a matchup in my opinion. Two very grizzled veterans here. Scott Stephens and King Crunch out of wood out of the Badlands lands area of Woodlands, Texas. He's a that truck is a tough runner is a tough runner where anywhere he goes. Y'all still with me here? Yep, we're right here. Yeah. All right, and his opponent. He's got a very tough opponent who is just as bit as le bit a uh, bit as a lethal threat as it threat as anybody. Tom Mintz in goal in the in Goldberg the named and themed after professional WC after famed WCW wrestler Bill Goldberg. That Goldberg, that's a beautiful looking truck. Oh yeah, it's oh, absolutely gorgeous. I wanted that too. Goldberg and King Crunch. About ready to go off here. Gonna be a very intense match there, we. And one of the most interesting we'll things about this. Goes. Yep, and one of the most interesting things about the Goldberg truck, guys, is that the is that the motor actually sits in front of the driver on this truck. On this truck, very. On most trucks nowadays, you would see the truck behind. You would see the engine mounted behind and below the driver to balance the vehicle out. Yep. So this, so this should be quite an interesting race. Goldberg and King Crunch. Goldberg is staged. King Crunch is staged. We're racing. Real good job, folks. Oh, Goldberg with a nice start. 
A very nice start in the They were strong. Oh, man. Like, it's muzzle. Goldberg oh, takes oh. the win on that one, but King Crunch didn't let him didn't let him take it for nothing. Wow. That okay, was that was almost a tie. Goldberg a 583, King Crunch a 6.08. Goldberg advances. That was intense. Yeah, that was intense. Let's actually watch the reap here. Mint really, Mint really took a big hop off that first set, and uh, and that almost cost him the race. Whereas Scott Stevens, on the other hand, Stevens relatively short, relatively smooth, but. If he had he not made that little bobble off the first set, he probably would have had it won. Yeah. No room for error on this on this track track, Cody. It's a straight line course. Yeah. He's right about that. Anyways. Goldberg is going to mm -hmm. advance into the quarterfinals here. And that will be very, and that's setting up to be very, uh, this has been a very intense first round so far. Three out of four races, two out of three races, I should say, have been very close finishes. Right, guys? You got that right, Tommy. Oh, yeah. All right. Next up will be the... Our next matchup will be Sky Hartley in the Snake Bite Machine. He'll be taking on... Taking on one of three major dodges in this industry. Richard Patterson out of Madisonville, Kentucky and Rampage. I love them racing straps. And I'm, sure, and I'm sure this race will be intense. Oh yeah, that oh yeah, so definitely will. We're looking at a close race here. These two trucks are about evenly matched on paper. Uh, Snake Bite Ford Snake, um, 1800 horsepower engine. Rampage 97 Dodge Ram, 1600 horsepower Keith Black Chrysler Hemi. Nice engine layout. Anyways, uh, before Steak Bite goes to the line, he's going to have a slight adjustment here in terms of power. And this ought to be a dandy race. Snake Bite up against the Rampage Machine. Fourth race, first round. All right, here we go. There, here we go. They're off and running. Snake bite, keeping it low to the ground, and and wow! Very oh, well. rampage oh. has rolled the oh, rolled the truck over. Wow! Oh dear. Yeah, wait, Rampage. Yeah, Rampage over on his lid. I didn't see that. I didn't. We, we didn't see that until until Snake might actually cross the line. Wow. So Snake Bite advances. Wow. Let's actually take a look at the, at the 
replay in here. Snake Pie was picture perfect. Just look, kept it low to the ground. What do you think? Here's the Rampage's replay. Let's see what happened. Oh. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my god. Rampage's run was not pretty. Surely he had some damage and he'll probably have to do something to fix it. Oh yeah, that. he's gonna have to he's got a lot of work to do to get ready for tomorrow. Wow. Rampage over on his lid. We have with lid for uh, lid. MTN the MTN MTM2 division has their first rollover. Oh my goodness. The first time this season a truck has gone on its head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's definitely the first one that did that. Wow. I Richard mean, I what a what a finish to that race. Richard Patterson goes on his head. I mean, I heard of the phrase stay ahead of the game, but I don't think that's how you're supposed to execute it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so Snakebite advances, and he'll take on Goldberg in the quarterfinal. Now, that'll be around to see. Yeah. Also, to the audience member who owns a black 1988 Chevron montage, please, uh, please go down and check your vehicle, please. Someone complained about your headlights being on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, next. Anyways, our next matchup will have a Dodge and a Chevrolet, two very iconic trucks here. Brian Walmack at a driving for the world famous Barefoot team out of Pontoon Beach, Illinois. His opponent will be Mister Consistency, Gary Porter, out of Waysboro, North Carolina. In the Carolina Crusher. I've always liked Carolina Crusher. Oh, Barefoot's a tough competitor as well. Anywhere he goes. Eh, it's barely possible. Both of them are really cool. Barefoot and Carolina Crusher going up against each other in this first round right here. Barefoot is in. Crusher is in. We're racing. Off the start. Barefoot with a good lead. Coming up. Barefoot kept it nice and low to the cars. And Crusher's on his head. Oh. Wow. Oh, and now we got a second crash. Yeah. <laughs> and Crusher's on his head. And on his roof he went. Wow. Our second truck in a row to go on its head. <laughs> wow. Well, what that's happened? Losing it. Let's look at Barefoot run first. Brian Walmack, nice and smooth here. Kept it nice and low over the cars. He wins the race. But the real story was Gary Porter. What happened to Carolina Crusher? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Same thing that happened to Rampage. Wow, went crazy. You don't see that often out of Carolina Crusher. That was that was very uncharacteristic for Gary Porter. Definitely. Yeah, very unusual. 
I'm getting word from the pit crews. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It turns out that the Carolina Crusher's driver sustained a bad injury. Apparently the inertia caused his uh, need to dislocate. It's not life threatening. He should be able to make a full recovery, but he's definitely going to be laid up in the hospital for a few days. Oh, uh, jeez. Dislocated shoulder for Gary Porter. He's being transported to the medical center as we speak. We'll, wait. we'll try to find out more about him as the event goes on. Poor guy. Wow, something had to break on Carolina Crusher for that to happen. And we're just yeah, getting right, word from the officials. It, 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 in fact, something did break on the truck. The four link, a uh, rear four link bar broke. Which caused the, which was the cause of this rollover. Wow. So barefoot will advance. Two crashes in a row, row guys. Wow. And they were very sudden. This comes with the This comes with the territory, boys. Alright, our next matchup will feature two Chevrolets here. Paul Stender and Bulldozer, a guy who a guy who typically runs on the Thunder Nationals indoor circuit. Here he is outdoor here he is running with the big boys outdoors. But uh, he's got a tough opponent, though, guys. Y'all with me? Hear you. Oh, yes. And that will be Pleasant Cook in the legendary USA 1. USA 1 looking like a championship contender in this series. It's like it was destiny. And now we're going to see them both race. Oh, Let's yeah. Hope that one of them can win the race. Oh, yeah. Only one stands alone at the finish line. Yep. Only the strong survive here. At Sedalia, Missouri, and we're about to find, we're about to find out right here as uh, the game kind of switched lanes on us here. Let's try to correct that issue. USA One had lane choice. She went with the right lane. All right, there. All right, here we go. And oh! Wow, that was. Oh yeah, the light went green, and the USA one just fun. sat there. Yeah, it just sat there for the most part until it uh, started racing. That was a delayed reaction if I ever saw one. Yeah. And USA One still won the, and she still somehow won the race. Wow! Wow! What a crazy That's turn crazy. of events! <laughs> what, a cra what happened to Bulldozer? That's what I want to know. I Let's look at, yeah, right here. But oh man, word we're getting is USA One popped out of gear. 
but she goes on and goes across the fit but she seems to have enough to take it across the finish line what happened to boulders oh same thing happened to um same thing happened to uh, Rampage and Carolina Crusher, only Stender did not roll the truck over. Wow. Got hung up on that car right there at the beginning of the second set. There's something wrong with that lane over there, I think, guys, because a lot of guys are having trouble. I'll get to the... Yeah. I'll get to the... Uh, I'll, get, I'll get to the crew see if they can... Uh, if he can provide some uh, last minute repairs before the next round. Anyways, we gotta fit. Anyways, we. There's gonna be. I think there's gonna be a good side and a bad side to this competition this evening. We got two more races to go. Anyways, next up, my Dodge and the Chevrolet match it up again. Monster Patrol. Patrol. Paul Schaefer was out with Chevrolet with a, for a long time. He switched over to Dodge and paying dividends right now as he's one of the quick of the day. He'll be taking on Dan Patrick. In Sampson, Dan Patrick, an innovator in this sport, if I, if I, if if memory serves me right. And you'd be right. Dan Patrick, one of the leading chassis builders in this sport, may I add. He builds his own trucks and builds them for other competitors as well. He's one of the greatest. He's one of the greatest men of the sport. I'll second that. Legend of Wii, how you doing back there? I'm doing great. It's uh, very fun to watch how all these trucks race against each other. We had some problems here and there. You know, like a few hiccups in the in the road, like a bump you would get in Canada. <laughs> oh, but yeah. It's all going good so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paul Schaefer and the Monster Patrol. Going against, going against the Samson of Dan Patrick. This ought to be a dandy one. Of course, I was being funny when there, I folks. did mention Canada because of the. You know, <laughs> there are a lot of bumps in Canada. That's why I said that. Even though funny. Bulldo, even though Paul, even though Bulldozer didn't win, Paul Stender, after watching the other two drivers flip over, I think Stender is just happy to keep it to have it have a truck on four wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't be happy after that? Yeah. Anyway, Samson against Monster Patrol. Here we go. Samson's in. Monster Patrol is in. We're right. That 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 heavy power should and kick out of Monster Patrol coming across the finish line. Ooh. And I think Samson's hung up. Wow. Oh, Samson's oh, Samson hung up. Got hung up on that. Yeah. If you do not hit, you got to be careful hitting that second jump. If you do not hit that second jump right, you're going to either get hung up or roll over. Wow. Indeed. So, Monster... Let's actually take a look at each... Let's actually take a look at the replays here. All shape for smooth as silk, Clinton. Very. 
guess that almost let us lose it. Butter on a baby's bottom. And here's Dan Patrick's replay. Yeah, he just, yeah, he got hung up on that on the second set. Wow. Oh, For sure, that happened. You don't see that off, that hung up that often. A truck getting hung up, especially on the on a set of cars like that. That's the first time that that's happened in all in my years of racing. Wow. Anyways, we are down to it. Our last race of the first of the first round. And here's who the who the our final two competitors are going to be: Dennis Anderson and Grave Digger at a Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. That big, the big bad 1951 Chevrolet panel truck. Haven't seen Dennis Anderson for a while, and he certainly is a crowd favorite. Oh yes, and he's a great person too. Oh I yeah, I met him one time, and it was a joy to be around. Oh wow, a little joy. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. His opponent will be one of the most successful drivers in this sport. One, he's won more championships than I think any other single driver in this sport. Mark Hall in the Executioner Machine. Twenty-three national championships to Mark Hall's name. Did you know that? Really? I've known. <laughs> yeah, really. Twenty-three national championships, all in and across several different leagues. May I add? That's something. Yeah, that is something. Very. Mark Mark Hall has been around. He does have a resume. Mark uh, Grave Digger making a suspension adjustment. Can you blame him? <laughs> well, I can't blame him at all. Well, Mark Hall knows he can't lift because Dennis Anderson sure isn't. <laughs> Big race for the Hall brothers here. Alright. Executioner is in. Gravedigger is in. Grave digger in the other lane. He may want to be there. Here we go. Executioner and Grave Digger. Digger kept it nice and low to the cars. But who won that? That looked really tight. Grave digger with a 5.62. Executioner with a 585, but something may be coming up on Executioner. Let's take a look at the replays. Let's actually take a look at Executioner's run first. Oh man, he launched the truck so hard, he actually missed the second set of cars, guys. That's going to be a disqualification. That's an automatic problem. Yeah. That. That. Oh, man. Tough break for Mark Hall. Get it, Anderson. Nice and smooth right here. 
he's gonna be he's gonna be a tough competitor to beat, I think. Definitely. Oh yes. That grave digger yeah, number seven running there. good tonight. Oh yes. And that was and that has and that is our first victory out of the left lane all event. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> So the lanes are pretty. So the lanes are pretty equal, in my opinion. If you if you hit if you hit the second set of cars right. Um, if we were all cars, my oil pressure's through the roof right now. If this gets any more exciting, they're gonna have to tow me out of the booth. Oh, geez. <laughs> Anyways, here we're, here's how our quarterfinal round pairings will match up: Bigfoot against Little Tiger. Goldberg against Snakebite, Barefoot against USA One, and Monster Patrol taking on Grave Digger. Man, that's gonna get really intense with those drivers raising against each other. Oh yeah, competition's even tougher now. I'm not the one for predictions, but I think I might be smelling a classic Bigfoot versus Grave Digger. Oh, we may. Oh well. There is some merit to the to that statement. That statement, team. train man, train man, Bigfoot and Gravedigger on all, are on opposite sides of the ladder. They could actually meet up each uh, meet up with each other in the Monster Smash final. Oh, what do you know? All right, so here we go with the quarterfinal round of competition right here we have jim kramer in bigfoot the living legend going up against brian bartle who won last time out in columbus ohio in the little tiger chevrolet ford versus chevrolet guys i think Can Brian Bartle make it two in a row, or does, or does Jim Cramer with Team Bigfoot have something to say to that? We got, we're about to find out. Yes, and uh, Bigfoot's got it geared up a little bit. Got the motor geared in this thing geared up a little bit. So this is going to be a pretty intense race. Bigfoot is in. Bigfoot is staged. Little Tiger is staged. One of these will go home. Buggity, 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 boss. Let's go racing. Anyways, Bigfoot and Little Tiger. We're racing. Okay. All right, Bigfoot, Little Tiger. Cody, you with us? Yes, I am. All right, here we go. Second set of cars. Ooh. Strong. Very Big. strong start. Whoa. Big. Did you see that? Big little Tiger just blazed through real fast at the end. Yeah, Little Tiger came on strong at the end, but uh, I think he, but I think he launched. I think he launched off that first set too hard and did the exact same thing Executioner did. We got a. I think you. Yeah. Anyways, big. Bigfoot with a 5.57, Little Tiger with a 5.93. Yeah, 
I took a little tiger's run first. Yep, I was correct. Completely missed the second set. That will be a disqualification, but it doesn't matter anyway. Straight up. Straight up. Bigfoot one. Jim Kramer trying to win it for his home state fans. So Bigfoot advances into the semis. Yahoo! <laughs> Our next matchup will feature Sky Hartley in Snakebite going up against Tom Mintz in Goldberg. An odd matchup, but an interesting matchup. Yeah, a very odd matchup, but definitely interesting nonetheless. Mintz has been on kill all night. He'll definitely be a threat in this racing competition. He's running with the same setup as before in this round, so he's very confident, confident in his motor. Sky Hartley in Snake Bite is his opponent. Goldberg is in. Snake Bite is in. We're racing. And Mitz has his has the same lane he bit he ran in in the first round, so this should play an advantage to him. Up the second set. Ooh man, this is gonna be close. Going fast. Something may have happened to Snake Bite. Snake Bite. Let's see. Oh man. Goldberg 5.83, Snake Bite 8.40. Let's see the replay here. Smooth as silk for Tom Mintz, Cody. Yep, smooth as butter. He did well. And let's actually take I'll a look at uh, the other one. Sky Hartley. Hartley was all over the place in this one. Was all over the place. Oh, he got hung up. Oh, he did not hit that second jump right correctly and got hung up. That's what did him in right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You definitely got to be in. Got to be on your toes hitting that second set. Woo. There. And I, I should mention it on the second jump, there's a missing car. The second and third cars are missing, so you got to have a lot of momentum to get over that gap. Thought I'd point that out. Y'all with me here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And so... Goldberg advances. Oh, boy. <laughs> Things are intensifying here, boys. Yeah. We're going to have Bigfoot and yep, Goldberg it, in the semifinals. Oh, wow. That's going to be quite a matchup. Yeah, that's going to be a very interesting matchup there. It's heating up. That It's going to be spicy. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, 
All right. So, all right. We got a, a Dodge and a Chevrolet match it, match it up for these next two races. It'll be first one here will be Barefoot up against USA 1. Brian Walmack has been very consistent as of late. Yeah, bad right, Tom. Yeah. Walmack's opponent will be Pleasant Cook in the USA 1 truck. And she's the, and she's and she hasn't been and she had the slowest time in the first round, so she's so she's definitely so she definitely hopes she can pick it up a little bit here, especially against a tough uh, against a tough opponent like Walmack and Barefoot. Need more power to her. Oh yeah. Cody, you still with us? Yeah, I am. All right. Barefoot running with the same gear ratio as before, so why make any changes if it sticks? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep, that's exactly right. Yep. <laughs> so this should be a very interesting matchup. Barefoot, Brian Walmack, Pleasant Cook in USA 1. USA 1 is in. Barefoot is in. We're, about, we're ready to go racing right here. Off the start, Walmack with a good start. Can he pull it off? Ooh, man. Oh, and USA 1 oh. is on her head. Wow. That's a lot of wreck. people have been getting in trouble in that left lane. Wow. Must be that time for the drinks, I guess. Barefoot advances into the next round, but a, but the big story is Pleasant Cook and USA One. Ple we're, we're we're getting is you as Pleasant Cook is is all right. She's out of the truck. She's walking away. She's all right. She's out of the truck. Jesus for saving another life. I'm yeah, a lot of the, the... And that is the safety factor built into these trucks, Michael. Let's take a look at USA 1. What happened to USA 1 right here? Hit that jump at the wrong angle. And over she went. Whereas Walmack and Barefoot, he was smooth as silk. Kept it loaded, nice and low to the cars, and came across the finish line first. Wow, many crashes in this cop in in this competition here at Sedalia. Woo. Anyways, barefoot advances. He'll. Quite a lot. Pleasant Cook's all right. She's out of the truck. She's okay. That's good to hear. Yeah, that is good to hear. And next up could be the matchup of the night right here. With Monster Patrol, Paul Schaefer, and Dennis Anderson and Gravedigger, Cody. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's going to be something. Anyways, Paul Schaefer with that 2,000 horsepower engine. Mighty powerful. 
going up against Gravedigger, who has only 1,400 horsepower. Grave Digger and Monster Patrol. Grave Digger may be going in a lane that he has not been in all night long. It'd be a blessing or a curse. Yeah, this could be. Yeah, this has been a. So this could be a. This could be a very tri slippery slope for Grave Digger. We're about to find out. Grave Digger is in. Monster Patrol is in. We're racing. Oh, Grave Digger with a little bit of a slow start. Can he make it up on the big end? Oh, man. That was close. That About was a half fun. a second difference. Grave Digger's your winner! Wow! <laughs> nice! Grave Digger with a 5.43, Monster Patrol with a 5.96. Let's take a look at the replays. Dennis Anderson was a little slow off the line, but. That fourth, but uh, that extra acceleration made the difference. I think he didn't win the race off the starting line. He won the race in no man's land. Here's Monster Patrol's run. Monster Patrol was all over the place, all over the place, and the advantage there came actually on the last jump. Jump, Cody. Dennis Anderson kept the truck close to the close to the ground, hooked up, while Monster Patrol went up in the air. Yeah. Definitely. The replay showed it. Moss, Moss Patrol kept it. <laughs> Moss Patrol went up in the air. Grave Digger kept it on the ground. So, yeah, the second jump made the difference there. How they approached, how they uh, launched off the second jump right there. He's tough. Anyways, here are all right, here we go, the semifinals. Bigfoot going up against Goldberg and Barefoot going up against Grave Digger. are heating up. Yep, it's getting so hot. It's just so spicy and sweaty. Oh, yeah. We're, oh, yeah. <laughs> Jim Kramer and Bigfoot going up against Tom Mintz and Goldberg. Mintz has beaten Big... has actually beaten Bigfoot before when he was... full. Four, he was dry one time he was in, I believe at Wildwood, New Jersey, the first ever Monsters on the Beach event in nineteen ninety five. Vince was driving Moss Patrol, met Bigfoot in the final, he beat him. That's something. Yeah. Looks like we may have a repeat. Anyways, his op anyways, Kramer's opponent is right here. Mintz Tom Mintz in the Goldberg machine. And we could have a... This could be the matchup of the night right here. But don't... But don't count out Jim Cramer. Jim Cramer wanting to win it here for his... For the home state fans, so... A lot is on the line for Bigfoot here. A 
only one way to find out. All right, here we go. Goldberg and Bigfoot. Truck their stage. We're racing. Mints in a lane. He hadn't been in all night long. Kramer smooth as silk. Ooh. Man, who won that? That was so tight. That was a pretty tight race, I will admit. Bigfoot with a 5.57. He's your winner. Goldberg with a 6.11. Incredible. Insane. Bigfoot kept it nice and straight. Straight as an arrow rut for Jim Graham. Whereas Mintz and Goldberg, on the other hand, while his inexperience in this lane showed, he was all over the place and actually locked the truck up in the air instead of keeping it Nice and low to the ground like Bigfoot did. Goldberg, as big of a threat as he was, is done for the night. Bigfoot goes to the final. The Monster Smash <laughs> Final, may I add. Anything you... All right, now the, now the semifinal round will pit Dennis Anderson and Gravedigger up against Brian Womack in Barefoot. Guys, these two trucks have been battling it, have battled for years, a lot of times for a champ in a championship race. So this is a big rivalry here. So this is one of the big rivalries here, Barefoot against Gravedigger. It's going to be close. Cody, you still with us? Yeah. All righty. It's going to be very close. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a very intense race right here. Nighttime competition here in the uh, Oza in the uh, Ozark state in the Show Me state, I should say. I play a lot of shows tonight. Oh yeah. Grave Digger and Barefoot. Digger is in. Barefoot's in. We're racing here. Grave Digger once again taking that right lane. Oh, oh. Digger took a big hop, but Barefoot is hung up. Wow. I do not expect this happen. That was crazy. I didn't expect that at all. Barefoot got hung up on the cars and Gravedigger took a big hop over the second set, but that said he'll win the race and go on to the championship to the championship final. But ooh. What happened to Barefoot? Let's see. Coming around. Oh, there's your problem. He did not hit that first car. And here, and right here, Digger just takes a real big hop over the second set. Y'all still with me? Yep, we're still with you. Oh, yeah. All right. 
Anyways, it's just as just as Trainman 3985 predicted. It will be Grave Digger against Bigfoot in the Monster Smash final. Guys, your thoughts coming into this. Looks like we're gonna see a classic competition between two classic yeah. Between two classic legends. Oh yes, the two most popular names battling it out for the final. Yep. Grave Digger against Bigfoot. Your best friends playing it out in recess. Yep. We're only an hour and ten minutes of this. Wow. As of this, uh, as of this mark, and we're to mark, and we're and we're already in the final after a sixteen truck battle here at Sedalia, and this so this should be very interesting right here. Here we go. F here we go. Bigfoot and Bigfoot Grave Digger battling it out for the for the win here at Sedalia, Missouri. This should be a great race. If you have to go to the bathroom, now would be the wrong time, folks. Jim Kramer may be put in a lane that he that he has not been in all night long. The digger is going to get a good lane, I think. Here we go. Grave digger's in. Bigfoot is in. We're racing. Here it is. Here we go. The Monster Smash final. This is for the victory. This is for this is for the victory. Grave digger keeps it nice and low. And we got a close one right here, guys. This, this is too close to call. Sensational oh, race cow. for the win for Dennis between Dennis Anderson and Grave Digger and Jim Kramer and Bigfoot. Here comes the times. Times. Grave Digger wins here at Sedalia. Dennis Anderson and Grave Digger a 5.66. Big Jim Kramer and Bigfoot six seconds flat. Grave Digger, Woo! your winner here at Sedalia for night number one. Yeah. A lot of Grave Digger fans will be celebrating tonight. Anyways, and there's your winner, folks. Yep, and there's your result right there. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Anyways, there's your result. And that was our presentation for tonight's Monster Truck Nation event. Congratulations to uh, Dennis Anderson and Gravedigger, who uh, won the competition here at Sedalia. Our runner-up, Jim Kramer and Bigfoot. But let's not give those two all the credit. In fact, all 16 of these trucks put on a well of a show tonight. Give them all. Oh, a big round of applause. Woohoo! Way to go, everybody. All right. And that was great. Yep, that was that was a great that this has been a great event. We're go I'm looking forward to um to uh tomorrow to tomorrow here at which will also be at Sedalia. Day two of Sedalia, a two show weekend here for uh here at Sedalia. Anyways, that will do it for tonight's event. Congre tonight's event. Congratulations to Dennis Anderson and Grave Digger. Digger to uh, for Legend of We ninety two and Trainman thirty nine eighty five. I'm Tom Todd seven seven four. Thanks for, for thanks for being with us on this on this incredible night here at Sedalia. Good Sedalia. So hope you have a hope you and hope you all enjoy the rest of y'all's evenings. Until next time, folks. Put it in gear, cause we're out of here. 
I 